Mittelhelm and others. So, Lina Mikulova with the backhand serves about to start us off here in the semi final match. And there you can see already the aggression on the forehand. As soon as you give her enough time to play it, she comes through flat. It's not like Panagiotis Giannis, who we saw yesterday, playing loops away from the table. She comes in flatter. Mikulova. Previously has had pocking over in her pocket. But the last time they played was quite a while ago, so you could say that result is insignificant as an indication now. Whoa, what a forehand on the parallel. Dismissive from the Russian there. First half break, nothing to separate the two women on the screen. What a match it was yesterday between Polkanova and the 58-year-old legend Nisha Lian from Luxembourg. Polkanova was three games to love up. As you can imagine she would have had that in her mind for a long time if she hadn't managed to finish off the job there. Not enough legs there in the forehand from parking over. Has to transfer her weight up the back of a backspin ball. She does so nicely with the backhand there, but Mikhailova really solid on the forehand so far. Whoa, well, you don't see that too often. Mikhailova playing a backhand from the forehand side. Really positive start from the Russian here. 3-8. Wow, look at these chops away from the table. Polkanova misreads the second one. Stunning backhand, cross court. That's the kind of aggression Polkanova's going to have to have. Just to gain advantage early on in the rallies. more you top spin into those pimples consecutively the heavier and harder the ball becomes to lift one of the traditional ways one of the ways you'll see in the table tennis textbook to play a defender is to push one ball and spin another just so that you don't have to keep having to lift the backspin if you can get really tired and this is a better string of points now from Polkanova playing forehand on the parallel Switching up the position, keeping Polk, keeping Mikhail over guessing. And all of a sudden, this has become a much tighter affair in game one. Mikhail over still has a serve. Will she do anything differently here? All depends how she wants to start her point. Tries to side swipe a floating push with the pimples, but Polkanova now with an amazing comeback in this first game. Bit of pressure on Mikulova now because first game really does set the momentum. And if you have a and a light, look a perfectly placed forehand into that middle section. Over, so she can't play 
The chop is easy. Forces the error into the top seat. Oh, well, the reverse pendulum service followed up. And she steals game one from Russia's number one. And on the face of Mikhailova, Polkanova will be relieved that she managed to bring that back and find some momentum. Let's see what game two has in store for us in this first of two women's singles. Well, it's going to be important now for Mikhailova to brush that under the carpet and focus on this present moment. She had such a convincing lead there in game one by about four, point, four points. So credit to Polkanova all the same though. She's so mentally tough in tight situations, the top seed. And again, that flick, the modern way to receive serve in table tennis. Strict, cross court. Mikulova's got to make sure that she's not leaving too many spaces on that wide forehand. But that is a chiseled chop. Hat like a lumberjack's saw, that one. She takes that forehand a tad too late. The first one was good, but Polkanova absorbs the spin with the forehand block. Good control there from the Austrian. Last time these two played each other was back in 2016, and Mikulova won that affair 4-2. So stable on that backhand block. Polkanova, I don't think Mikulova anticipated that was coming back, but you've always got to expect the extra ball and recovery. Ooh. Good serve, long serve this time. Good change of length and placement from the Russian. Potential here for her to break an amazing record because no Russian woman, as I said before, has ever won the top 16 or the top 12, which is what this tournament was before 2015. Big show, lovely forehand. Good spin revving up the back of the ball. It's something that all pretty much modern defensive players have in their locker these days. In the women's and the men's game. Such arc on that ball from Polkanova makes it really hard to time the counter correctly. You saw a lot of forehand slaps from Mikulova in the first. Ooh. Well, again, that extra ball coming back, and Mikulova makes an error with the forehand. Two so far, only a few points in it. Straight from the timeout, a nice forehand there from the defensive player. And another two, this time into the backhand. Well, that didn't the confidence of Polkanova. The first pendulum serve and another forehand. That's three in a row now. Polkanova's offering too much. Mikulova's eating it up like breakfast, lunch and dinner.
Oh, well, that is a major insult to injury there because the Russians done absolute over. And what a time to get it as well. That's got to hurt. You can see here on the in the corner grimacing at that. Wow. Under pressure against that kind of topspin. Flat drive down the line. Such bold play here from the Russian. Can she take the game point and level things up? She can. Polkanova misreads that first floaty chop. One all now, to be honest. I think Mikulova deserved a game. Especially after that edge ball at 9 8. She kept her head, kept her cool, and has kept herself in the. Polina Mikulova with a strong response, albeit being a really tight game. Just thinking about that head-to-head -head again. 4-0 in favour of the Russian. Haven't played each other in about six years, though. Polkanova's gone from strength to strength since. Had some amazing wins, the Austrian. If you look at her resume, some of the scalps that she's taken. She's beaten players such as Hitomi Sato, Yang Hayun. Ligier, formidable Netherlands defender, European champion and top 16 champion, formerly. Manika Batra as well. And Polkanova beat 4-0 at the Olympics, which was a lot more one-sided than a lot of people would have anticipated. Well, she's playing really well here. I think she realises that she has to put more pressure on Polkanova than anyone else she's faced so far in this competition. And she's serving really boldly. Polkanova perhaps is hugging the table slightly too close to give herself some more time because right now she's getting caught out quite a few times with the long serve and she's supposed to be the player initiating with attacks. Ooh, how's that ball come back? Oh. Last Austrian woman to win was Lou Jia back in 2015. Oh. In the other semi final. We've got Bernadette Sox and Han Ying. So the winner of this match will play the winner of that, which will follow this one straight after. Comeback here from Polkanova. We've seen her do this so many times. Just find an extra gear, and Mikulova dumps that reverse pendulum serve right in the bottom of the net. 6 5 now to the top seed. Wow! How fast there. She realises that she's got enough time to play the forehand. Plays all cards on the table and pulls an ace forehand out of the bag there. Polkanova maybe looks a little bit hesitant in her decision making here. Polkanova hangs on in that point. It looked for a second that the angle of that Mikulova push had her dead and buried. She 
is dead alive. Well, that counter missed time, but Paul Canova was more positive there. Fortune favours the brave. Wow. Whoa. Mikulova with some flying backhands. Incredible play. Probably the most positive I've seen her so far. Oh, misses a bit of a cheap chop there, a bit of an early Christmas present. Nikolova doesn't feel like she needs to use the towel box. She stays at the table. Okanova manages to get that back, contains another one. And another. Oh, what defence there from Polkanova. So stable on that backhand block. Mikulova couldn't have done anything more. She threw the kitchen sink at the top seed there. Oh, but she overestimates the amount of backspin on the ball. The first one from those pimples is float, no spin. The more you attack into it, the heavier it gets. She comes in with the backhand and the forehand. Well, 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 initiating the attacks. So impressive here from the Russian. Ooh. Well, the way she's playing, you wouldn't be surprised if that went on. Both players giving their best here in these tight situations. Nothing to separate the two score-wise. Oh, but the second one she takes a tad too late. Poking over again, really solid with the block. And now she has a serve as well as a game point to take the lead here in this semi-final. Oh, and the side swiping chop. Gets dumped into the bottom of the net, the top seed. Top seed hungry. Her first major European title in singles. And first win against Mikhailova. Six years on from their last meeting. You see the intention there from Mikhailova. Good quality spin from Polkanova. Wow. These are the rallies the crowd love to see. Defence and attack turn into topspin to topspin rallies. Umpire warning, Nikolova just said, please toss the ball a bit more vertically, please. Well, that was chiselled. And Portanova didn't drive up the back of the ball enough there. Takes a lot of leg, waist, transfer of weight to lift that shot.
Lova spearheading this women's team. And they have such a promising youth team, Russia. When you look at their men's team as well, current under-19 champion and the boys' team are doing incredibly well. Getting to the final of the European Team Championships. Doing incredibly well, the Russian youth team. Lovely crisp top spin there from Mikhailova coming into the table. Porkanova gave her a little bit too much room to manoeuvre there on the receive. Mikhailova serving with top spin, so Porkanova needs to try and flick. You don't really know where it's going, the Mikulova forehand. It's hard to read its direction. She doesn't really give anything away with the shoulders until the last second. Oh, right. The Russian looking to level things up at 2-all. Best of seven. Straight knockouts. The format of the top 16. There's huge pressure your first match. There's a knockout, no group stage. This isn't the European Championship, this is the cream of the crop. Well, you can commend the backhand of Mikulova, which has been so solid, but she was giving it on a plate, really, from Polkanova. And that shot that was successful for her on a couple of occasions, that backhand flick cross court, she just hasn't played enough, really. Maybe we'll see that reverse pendulum serve into the backhand a bit more often from Polkanova. Give her that forehand attack. Wow, that's special. The Russian levels it. Two cheap forehands there, given away from Polkanova. Both points followed up from the serve. Mikulova. A big fist pump. She can guarantee a two-point cushion, at least. mentally taxing yesterday's quarterfinal against Nish Alian was on Polkanova. It was one of the warmest embraces I've actually ever seen at the end of a match between her and the Luxembourg legend. Now trying to get behind a Russian player here.
Wow. Straight out of the textbook, forehand straight down the line. Hooking over, yet to get a point on the board. Flawless start. Oh, and an ace. Not an ace that was kind of out of reach, though. It was in the hitting distance. Probably a scoreline that no one anticipated. No way she reached that shot. Ooh. <laughs> She's like a brick wall and Polkanova's hammering and it takes so much to break her down. Ooh, again comes in for the attack, clips the top of the net this time and goes off. Three points in a row. I've seen so many games this competition where Polkanova has been trailing by three or four points. She's managed to come back. Is she doing that again now? If the serves too, it becomes even more of a possibility. Well, what a roller coaster right of the fifth game. But she keeps the cushion. Coming to in the women's game, having short pips on the backhand, which means she can kind of just punch through topspin instead of having wood with the smooth rubber. You can also do that with the long pimples, but you've got to strike it in a different kind of way. Oh, well, Polkanova did well to recover the net. But Mikhailova taking no prisoners there, coming into the table with the punch. Made use of an amazing angle there. Even the tall Austrian couldn't reach it. Wow. Well, that's the backhand of Polkanova that we know and love. That's what she's capable of there. Perhaps we need to see more of that instead of pushing so many boards with the backhand. You can see there, it's just not enough. Mikhailova's on fire with the forehand. Do we gain points to the 11th seed? And there we have it, fifth game secured, one away from the final. so much for both players neither of them have reached a European top 16 final before Pokanova's best came in 2020 when she got a third place while being injured Mikhailova's previous best has been ninth place at the top 16 Perhaps being a taller player makes it a bit more difficult to play defence because you have to bend your legs more to drive up the back of the ball. If you're a small player playing against defence, you're already low, so all you have to do is come up. Wow, incredible control. Mikhailova, though, so solid.
Okuno is not going to go down without a fight. She wins so many matches in the deciding game. So it's a high percentage win ratio. Whoa! Straight off the bounce with a bit of side spin. That is an impeccable forehand. Wow, she's on fire right now. Miss Fahrenheit burning at 100 degrees. You can see the definition in her legs, the physicality of being a defender coming in and out of the table so much and so quickly. As well as having to bend to play counters so often. Really taxing on the body. Have to do a lot of resistance training. Polkanova put off there by that side swiping. Kind of like a strawberry push, but it's with the long pimples instead of smooth rubber. And a top edge adds some salt to the wounds of the top seed. Mikhailova in the driving seat right now. Polkanova, a rabbit in the headlights. Wow. Has an answer to every question that Polkanova's asking of her right now. Well, in insight, you know as well as me, for anyone who's watching that plays, as soon as you start too much, you tense up, get nervous, and then your opponent can come back. So you've just got to play each point till the last point. And that backhand that's been one of the recipes of success. Six match points. Mikel Oba. Oh, and a net finish, but you can see the reaction. It means so much. The top seed is out. Mikel Oba slays. One of the biggest European giants, the top seed, Sofia Polkanova out. She cannot better her result from 2020. And Mikhailova one step away now from becoming the first Russian to ever win this prestigious event. Stay tuned because up next we have the second of the women's single semis. Bernadette Sots against Han Ying.